I'm Caleb Franklin. I'm a fifth and sixth grade social studies educator um, at Friendship Southeast Academy. All right, come on. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Serena. Every day is different for me, really. <laughs> um, it's like controlled chaos. Like things are going well, but also there's so many things going on. A typical block um, in my classroom, um, it typically starts with something to hook the students in. Um, being that I teach history and social studies, it's challenging trying to get the kids engaged uh, with learning things about things that happened thousands and thousands of years ago. And so I try to find something that's relevant to them today, and they kind of have that connection to lead them through the rest of the lesson. Then we jump into analyzing documents, we jump into reading, writing, and we do a whole just a plethora of activities to get our students engaged with reading, writing, um, and understanding not only the social studies content, but applying their critical thinking skills that they learn across all classes. It starts with the relationship building, right? We build a lot of just a rapport with each other through our communication in the classroom, outside of class, and the activities that we complete. I guess they trust me as a teacher that what I'm teaching them is gonna lead them to something. All right, thank you all for a great class. Let's enjoy the rest of our day. When I get home and truly reflect on my day, I'm like, wow, I really did the thing. And I think sometimes it's not a survey or it's not a observation I'm looking for to say that. When I sit in parent meetings, and parents say, oh, you Mr. Frank, you're my student's favorite teacher. Or uh, when the students, you know, all day just talk about my classroom. Well, Mr. Frank, that was really fun. Can we do that again? Um, it just truly, it brings me to tears because I'm very intentional about the work that I put in front of my students. And so it just shows that it's working and that the work that I do is not in, put in vain, basically. Spread it more of their religion. And now we're spreading more knowledge. So Bernard is spot on. So now that we're able to produce more and more of the book, what brought me to education, I would say, is my little brother. School was very challenging for him. Um, oftentimes, him and the teachers didn't get along too well, or he just, you know, wasn't doing what he's supposed to in the classroom. And the teachers often, unfortunately, didn't support him probably in the best way they should have supported him. I'm experiencing my mom having to support him so much going through school, I wanted to be that teacher that he really didn't have going through school. Oftentimes, teachers ask me, Mr. Franklin, why you put so much into these students? Mr. Franklin, why um, do you care about this student in particular so much? I think I see my little brother, right? The students come to me because they call me Uncle Franklin and everything else, only because like I'm the person that supports them and gets them you know, what they need regardless. I get them that love, that caring, that Everything you probably need in a day, I can provide it to my students, and it doesn't require a lot of money. It doesn't require anything for me to smile at my students. It doesn't require much. Just to be there for them. I think, I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think that's the biggest thing. Yeah. So oftentimes, a lot of kids, Miss Frank, can you be my dad? Or Miss Frank, I'm your son, right? And the teachers come around, Miss Frank, come get your son. Um, so being that my family is in Georgia, I kind of created my family here. Um, with my students, they don't have that positive uh, male role model in their life where they don't have um, that person they can go to all the time. So I'm glad that I can be there for my students. And for me, it just means the world. Like there's no amount of money that I can make or there's no, um, other place I would like to be, but in the school building. All right, so here we have my most, this is my family, with that video earlier, when we talk about my family, I think these individuals right here, um, these are individuals that hold me down. So, the perfect time Thank that you. we yes. all work. Yes, we love moment. you. Yes. He's, He's the greatest, awesome like, awesome. beyond just social studies teacher, he's elevated me as a ELA teacher. So that's And he motivates us. Yes. He motivates me to go. Before I thought, the only way we can change things in this world is having a lot of money, right? I give a billion dollars towards this research to find a solution to this, right? But I realized I can change things in the classroom. And so every day when the times get tough, I think of all, you know, the boys I mentor and support. I think of Amir, I think of Santino, I think of Aiden. I think of all these kids and their names come to mind as I'm not only here in DC, but outside of DC as well. And they're the ones, that's my motivation. They're the ones that push and they drive me to become my best self every day, but I also push them to become their best selves. They just are a reminder that this work definitely um, is challenging, but it's worth it in the end. Once I see them cross the stage um, in high school and choose where they want to go in life um, after that point. Education doesn't 
just confined to the four walls of whatever building you're working in. It's way more um, than just that.